Today we're going to investigate how ice affects a KU band satellite dish signal. It's extremely cold outside right now, perfect ice making weather. And what we're going to do is use a spray bottle filled with water and mist the satellite dish pan and LNB with water and get a little buildup of ice going and see how that affects the signal. And right now outside it is minus 27 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. That is minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see that the dish is iced over quite a bit. I concentrated on getting the ice built up right here in the center of the dish. That would be where the focal point is. And I also found that if I misted the water on lightly, uh, that gave it a chance to freeze up before it could even run down the dish. You can see here when I was spraying it on a little heavy, it ran off easier. But it's also uh, gotten a lot colder in the last couple of hours. So besides getting the dish iced over nicely, I was also able to get the LNB iced over. And let's look at some of the results of our experiment. And it is very cold out here. You can see that this water is running a little bit and then it just gels and turns to ice quite quickly now. So we're getting a good build up here. All right, so looking at our signal meter on our receiver, you can see we're getting a good signal strength and quality to start things off here. Now watch what happens when I spray some water on the LNB and satellite dish pan. You'll notice that the blue and green signal disappears and turns red for a few seconds and then comes back. So what is actually happening here is that the liquid water interrupts the signal temporarily. And it's so cold outside that the water is freezing into ice very quickly. And the signal returns because the signal is actually able to pass through the ice to get to the LNB. Whereas the liquid water actually absorbs the signal, preventing it from reaching the LNB. And the reason for this is that water is most dense when it is in liquid form. So when you have a dense substance, that actually makes it difficult for a satellite signal to pass through it. However, as water freezes and turns to ice, it actually becomes less dense. This is why ice cubes float in a glass of water, because they're less dense than liquid water. And that means that satellite signals can actually pass through ice easier than they can through rain or any kind of water in liquid form. Now, in terms of your signal, most people have probably noticed when it rains, you lose signal. And we call that phenomenon rain fade. It's a very common problem with KU band satellite signals. KU band satellite signal wavelengths are very small and they're actually comparable to the size of a typical raindrop. And due to the density of liquid water, the signal gets absorbed by the raindrops and doesn't even have a chance to make it from the dish pan to the LNB. And this is why rain fade occurs. Now in terms of ice, a little bit of ice might not bother your satellite signal too badly, but at some point the ice might build up to the point where maybe it's just too thick or maybe the ice is really bumpy and jagged and that can actually cause the signal to be refracted or scattered all over the place. So basically, that ice acts like a whole bunch of little mirrors reflecting the signal every which way except where it should go off the dish pan focused into the LNB. So that can also cause a signal disruption. And you can see here that uh, the buildup of ice on my satellite dish has gotten to the point where the signal is now gone. So I guess I'll have to wait for a warmer day to use this satellite dish to watch any TV.